from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. And we are so excited for Megan as she continues that march in that direction. We'll see what happens. Right now, storms are marching back into our area as well. We've had rain moving east of Highway 69. Some of the heavier rains now up in Ottawa County, but you can see sprinkles and showers. Some of that is showing up here on the radar, and, and it's going to be more or less off and on later tonight, and then it really gets going really later tonight. What is going on with these colors? It looks like somebody just threw a bunch of colors up there. This is the storm system that is causing grief for a lot of the country. Good snows out into the mountains and Sierra Nevada mountain ranges uh, earlier. We have winter travel advisories in southeast from Tucson to the southeast. We have travel advisories and winter storm warnings, higher elevations. That's how cold and low this storm system is now. And then you have snow across the Rockies. You have blizzard warnings here in this magenta color. And then you have uh, winter storm warnings here. Ice warnings in effect just west of Minneapolis. And we have our tornado watches going on in Oklahoma, northern Texas and active tornado warnings. So you can call about every color around Christmas time or whatever it's there so this is wrapped up a huge huge storm system so this big storm system is what's going to be causing us some grief tonight we're getting the showers around so as we go through midnight there's gonna be a little bit of enhancement of more showers coming through but what we're keeping our eyes on is this big old line of storms that I was just showing you that's continuing to move rapidly to the east. so by 3 in the morning it's gonna be from Ponca City to just west of Oklahoma City or going into Oklahoma City and there is going to be severe weather along that line there's a chance for a few isolated tornadoes higher chances should be to the south and west but that means if you're in our viewing area if you're south and really even southeast of Tulsa you will have to be aware of the weather in the morning with Alan and Stephen and our storm trackers they're gonna be watching everything to get you to work or school and then the storms to the north aren't quite as intense but there's gonna be a few of those cells could have some hail and some wind in them that could exceed 60 miles an hour and hail that could get up to nickel size and then if you're down to the south this is where it's going to become kind of a problem seven eight o'clock in the morning a few of these cells could be rotating and it could be enough for a quick tornado in a few areas of south central Oklahoma maybe here in our southeastern Oklahoma counties so be aware early tomorrow morning turn on channel six first thing so Alan can let you know the latest what happens though behind this storm system once we get through this mess is that we start to clear out we'll actually get some Sun in the afternoon for a while and that's gonna allow our temperatures to warm up and this is the last warm day in like a long time I'm not gonna say any eons but it's well and we're talking about then turning a lot colder. So right now, the severe weather risk is mainly from Oklahoma City back to the west. As we go and transition into the early morning hours, it'll be from I-44 back to the uh, south and east, especially I-40 corridor south. So all you guys down in here, we do want you to be aware of what's happening. And we're talking about rain amounts anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half. It's kind of a more generalized, I'd say three quarters of an inch for most of us. So it's going to be a wet system coming through. And it's good news if you're north and west, southeast, you're kind of like, yeah, I'd save some, but we can't. So are we thinking it's going to rain? Yeah. And when are we going to think it's going to rain? Anytime from 4 to about 8 o'clock in the morning in Tulsa. That chance is still fairly high if you're east of Tulsa through about 9 to 10. So what we're watching right now is this little warm shot and then the cold shot. Phoenix is at 49. And then this Arctic air, which is up here, it's not like 20 or 30 below zero right now. But there is some really cold air that's going to surge south because of this storm system. So we're getting the uh, chance of rain and thunderstorms in the morning. It's pulling all this cold air. Then it's going to move to the east. Blizzard warnings to the north. And then it just sinks in with cold air through the weekend. Little reprieve on Sunday, upper 40s. And then a second shot comes in on Monday into Tuesday. And then that's really, that's even colder air. That's really cold air. Most of our computer models saying, hey, we'll be lucky to get to freezing. So you do need to prepare. The good news is it's maybe Christmas week. I know it's travel time. And that's the only issue is that there could be some icy roads because of that if a storm system comes over this cold Arctic air. But there's a pretty good chance that might happen. Our temperatures tonight with a low deck of clouds at 51. We have no winds this time. 92% humidity. 49 is a dew point. Most of our metro temperatures are up. 40s to low 50s and our forecast looks like this we're talking about showers and thunderstorms highest probability is going to be during the morning hours and then we'll get some sun in the afternoon then it's a lot colder we'll be around 40 for a high on Friday a little bit of a rebound on Sunday and then you see what happens this uh, front could come in on Monday we might be in the 30s on Monday it's kind of a transition during that course of that day but that is some serious serious cold air not too far away that is your nine-day planner we'll be back with sports coming up